Thank you. Uh, so that was Saturday evening. There hasn't been a cloud in the sky all day, and it continues. So there'll be stars tonight. It's just magnificent, and I can't think of a better way to start off Saturday evening than to uh, let me see. I, I I don't know if I can say it any better than the the, the your website that says the Lonesome Age String Band, uh, an old time band that uh, with bluegrass chops that plays righteous folk and country music. That's what you guys do. Yeah, it's very good copy. I was going, who wrote that? That's very good. Uh, steeped in the, I mean, these guys can play lots of styles and they're, they're uh, wonderful musicians. But uh, in this particular instance, it's steeped in the music of Appalachia and all the other influences that might have come through their, their, uh, their minds. And it's right here on our stage for us to enjoy tonight. Uh, two thirds of the band. Uh, it's my great pleasure to uh, introduce John Showman and Chris Cole, uh, the Lonesome Ace String Band. Thanks folks, here's a little Doc Watson tune. This is an old fiddle tune uh, called the Black Mountain Rag that he popularized on guitar and we're gonna reclaim right now by fiddle and banjo. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so uh, me and John were driving up here and we thought, uh, well, last year we did, I think we did a whole set of John Hartford uh, songs and we were trying to think what we could do this year and uh, we thought, heck, you know, we ran into these guys for the first time down at the Merle Fest and we should maybe do try to do a bunch of Doc Watson material. So that's sort of where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna head here, not all, because Dr. Bob instructed us that we had to still play some Hartford, so. There'll be a little bit of Harvard mixed in, but mostly tunes that we uh, first heard from uh, from Doc. And uh, this is one of them, too. Originally recorded back in 1927 by uh, uh, Burnett and Rutherford, but uh, Doc Watson sort of popularized it in the 60s. It's called uh, Handsome Molly. Sure. 
Thank you very much. Here's a little uh, little Hank Williams song for you guys. He, he didn't write this song, but he, he sure uh, he sure managed to sing a really cool song. Um, and and this one we kind of took and turned into a, a little more of an old time tune. And I hope you guys like it. It's called The Devil's Train.
Thank, Thank you. you. All right, well, let's do, a, do another Doc tune here. This is, this is one that uh, uh, Doc was associated with. Um, again, he didn't, Doc, Doc didn't write any tunes that I actually know of. His, his wife, Rosalie, wrote some, some beautiful music, but he would, was more of an interpreter. And when um, there was a guy back in the 20s named Clarence Ashley, who was a great banjo player, uh, who recorded a bunch of a uh, bunch of uh, songs and uh, accompanied himself on banjo. And back in the early 60s, uh, a fellow by the name of Ralph Rinsler, who was a folklorist who lived in New York City and a mandolin player, he went down he, to um, North Carolina looking to see if he could find Clarence Ashley because he heard all these old records from the 20s and, and he wanted to see if this guy still existed. And so he went down to where he thought he lived and, and found Clarence Ashley and, and asked him if he would be willing to record some of his music and, and uh, wanted to hear him play all these old songs again. He said, you know what, I, I will, but I gotta, I gotta get my neighbor to back me up on guitar. And his neighbor turned out to be Doc Watson. And those are the first recordings of Doc Watson. And Doc Watson didn't even own an acoustic guitar when that happened, apparently. He was playing, playing rockabilly in a rockabilly band. Borrowed a guitar from somebody, and the, the rest is history. So this is this is this is a Clarence Ashley tune that that Clarence recorded in the in the twenties, and that Doc Watson also subsequently re-recorded in the sixties and probably again in the seventies. And uh, it's called Little Sadie. I changed the melody of this tune. It's not the uh, the same melody as the the Doc Watson version, but it is the same horrible words. <laughs> sometimes sometimes really bad things happen in good songs and folk music. There's nothing you can do about it. I just keep singing the songs.
very much. All right, here's a little, uh, thank you. Here's a little fiddle tune I wrote. This one's called Hold Your Lying Tongue.
All right, so that was also a tune that Chris wrote. Thank you. Well, both of those tunes were sort of written for uh, the former president of the United States. The first one was called Hold Your Lying Tongue. The second one's called American Refugee. I wrote it the day after the election when the Canadian immigration website collapsed. <laughs> Another, another Doc Watson song. Um, this is one of the old ballads uh, that, uh, that he sort of saved from obscurity. Because boy, like almost every, everything that Doc recorded ended up becoming a standard in this repertoire, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it, it's it's when, you, when you put together a set of music of, uh, in this style, um, it's not really that hard to um, to find tunes that, that maybe you first heard from Doc Watson. The, the trick is to put together a set of tunes that you didn't first hear from Doc Watson, because <laughs> almost almost everything, if you think back about it, about, about probably half the half the old tunes that I know, if I think back to it, the first version I ever heard was, was Doc playing, and this is no exception. This one's called Auto Wood. True story. <laughs> Take me out of town, but a few minutes later he was graveyard. 
This one comes from the doctor's orders. The doctor said, I think you should play a John Hartford song, specifically Steamboat Whistle Blues. And I said, only a fool argues with his doctor. So here you go. So Steamboat Whistle Blues with John Hartford. One, two. I started out to be a tobo man, I never got the hang of a ratchet bar. Growing up decking in the Illinois train, got cold dust in my ears. I got stuck in the ice on Christmas Eve, and I froze my ass, it's true. Just shivering and shaking with the down south case of those steam boats. Oh, Captain Webb, sorry, you know my hat is off to you. You've been hanging out by the old cook stove with the steam boats. City's grown up and it looks all square like a crossword puzzle on a landscape. It looks like electric shape and now where the courthouse used to be. Yeah, the grass is all synthetic and we don't know for sure about the food or about the old thing. We know for sure it's those steamboats or the food. Yes, I'd sit and I'd trust my TV if I thought I could watch the news. About the only thing I watch these days is those steamboats or the food.
you guys haven't started chanting one more song yet, so I guess we're free to keep playing. <laughs> no, we, 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 uh, you know what? We're going to do somewhere between those two. How about three? <laughs> Okay, so in the middle of our third set, I want you guys to cut the power to the mains and it'll be two and a half songs. Here's a, here's a song about, about one, of the, one of the drunkest men in, uh, in song. Like, this guy's really drunk. His name is Staggering Willie. It doesn't get much drunker than Staggering Willie does. Staggering Willie is constantly looking for money, and that's what this song's about. It's silly and it's fun. And it all falls like a
Well, it's time for uh, some more Joan Hartford. The last song, all right. All right, well, well thanks, thanks so much, uh, Bill. Thanks for having us back. It's uh, such a pleasure to be here, and, and uh, it's a wonder, wonderful thing that you got going on here. And we're, we're very honored to have been here all three years. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been great. And that's a, that, I gotta say that that first one especially is a really, uh, that was a, definitely a special COVID memory, being able to play a gig. It was our only gig of the year. <laughs> the first time I left my, my neighborhood, I think, in about six months. Yeah, that was that was quite a thing. So it's a, amazing to take the effort to do that. So really appreciate it. Um, yeah, this is the Judy Bell Swain, and, and uh, I, I, I noticed that the Weber brothers are here, so I know that you're in for some good music tonight. Thanks for listening. <laughs>
tongue like a crooked old river to straight my head right out. Oh, how I love Spree. Yes, I'm big and love to bring her down. Spree lays real like a ride when the Julia Bell comes down. When the Julia Bell comes down. <laughs> John Schoen, the Lonesome Maze Street Man. Thanks, guys. Fantastic. Wow. Boy, boy. So, uh, 